so growing up, the house was always filled with like pop music, R and B music, everything early nineties, and uh, that's obviously the inspiration for me to to perform. So uh, we'd have Nat King Cole on over Christmas, cool. and I, I got those records out of the uh, the the cupboard under the stairs, um, and yeah, I, I play them every time I can. It's it's really nice. Yeah, Mate, it feels you know like home any you know any time. So cool. Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah, for me, uh, <coughs> it wasn't so much my parents that uh, did the turntable thing, sure, but sure. Uh, I always was with my um, my grandparents on my father's side. Uh, they were the kind of family, big Italian family, so all the cousins, you know, would go hang out at the grandparents' house. Cool. And. Uh, my grandmother would play, uh, you know, like Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra, you know, all of the old crooner stuff. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so I think that was my first interaction with it. Cool. Is just having it being pumped through, you know, speakers in the house. Yeah. And, and like, look, finally figuring out where it came from one day. Because yeah. they had their turntable in their closet of all places, like in their bedroom. But uh, I, I think what draws me to vinyl most is just the uh, the aesthetic of it all like um, mm -hmm. have like having something so physical and uh, and obviously beautiful with the artwork and then having the home experience mm -hmm. I think is super important um, you know it's like easy to throw in your earbuds and drown out the day of course. but to actually sit down at home and like consciously put on a record mm -hmm. you know um, it's forcing interaction when you change the you know the side little things like that that actually like for me bring me further into a musical experience where uh, you know I'm, I'm consciously sitting down and thinking about the music that I'm playing right, right. Um, and obviously you know you, if you have like chore music you like you know, I, I like throwing on like Creedence Clearwater. Just in the background when, when you're cleaning. When your I'm cleaning and doing anything yeah. like upbeat. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you know, then there are moments where I'm like with friends and, and I know what, you know, what mood I want to set with mm -hmm. my friends or something, I can I can put a record on. Um, but I think that's that's it, is the whole difference in experience. Right, right. You, you can't uh, you know, really do that with you know digital music right we have booms now and that's cool yeah but uh it's just not the same yeah i just can't get past you know the the aesthetic and the, the aesthetic physical weight yeah. interacting with a, a music piece yeah yeah it's interesting to me how do you think about that when you guys are releasing your own music because i saw the uh the variants of the self-title there's like the really pretty sea blue one you had like the the splatter sort of like gray and white one, the marble-ish one, I guess. That's a lot to do with Tyler. Yeah. Uh, okay. Tyler's pretty much our uh, our design and aesthetic eye. Okay. Uh, we're all very, you know, very vocal about the things we like, um, and he's aware. You know, he knows us. I think, you know, even something like the album art, the album art, is made for the vinyl, mm -hmm. and then it translates everywhere else. You know, mm -hmm. it's like, that's where it has to start. It's like, will this look good? Mm -hmm. You know, square, vinyl, this it's big. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you guys find yourselves like, do you have to take a glimpse to see if yours is there? Maybe that's a weird conversation, I, but I feel like. I, I, I always go in assuming that it's I'm not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Uh, I remember seeing our record in HMV in uh, Liverpool, near my, near my house. And I was just, I wanted to just tell complete strangers. I was so <laughs> happy. This is my band. And this is it, my... Was, it was in between like Behemoth and <laughs> somebody else, I can't remember. And I was like, yes. it was in the metal section. Uh, and Behemoth I just and Black Breath. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> I just remember being so stoked. Yeah. Uh, I was like, do I buy it? I was like, I actually have like three of them at home. <laughs> But this one is in a store, and I was like, I'll leave it. Maybe somebody else might want it. Yes, yeah. yes. Maybe yes. somebody's on their way here right now to buy it, and I'm about to ruin it for them. But... I I do like doing the cheeky uh, sneak to the front of the of the letter yes. counter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's my so favorite great. thing. Yeah. It's like I, I I've never, you know, bought one from the store, but 
I, I do do that in like hot topics and stuff. Yes, yes, yes. Just bring it so it's the first, it's the eye level yeah, that yeah. touches people. Just put it yeah. on the most recommended. <laughs> yeah, yeah. On the end. I feel like it's just walk into that. Walmart and stick it in the, yeah. in the top seller. Yes, yes. <laughs>